dietitian and the author of the New York Times bestselling book, Cinch, Conquer Cravings, Drop Pounds, and Lose Inches. It's good to see you again. Thanks Thank for coming. Thank you. In. Thanks for having me back. How much fluid should we have every day this time of year? Well, according to the Institute of Medicine, women need about 11 8 ounce cups a day, and mm. men need about 15, which sounds like a lot. But some of that can come from food. In fact, it can be at least 20% of what you need for the day. Interesting. And some of these foods surprise me. But, but we can avoid heat stroke by eating some of the things we're going to talk about today. Right. Preventing dehydration is okay. the first key to that. All right. Bananas. I had no idea bananas had so much water in them. You don't think of these as being very watery. If you threw it on the floor, it wouldn't splat like a tomato. But 74% of what you're biting into here is fluid. So in a medium banana, you get three ounces. So almost half a cup right there. Mm, interesting. Let's move on to chickpeas here. The other surprising thing. A lot of water in chickpeas. Yes, we eat a lot more cold foods in the summertime. You can put chickpeas on a garden salad or you can puree them with a little extra virgin olive oil and garlic and lemon juice as hummus for dip with veggies. Mm. But one cup is going to give you three and a half ounces of fluid. Uh, is sodium a concern? With well, chickpeas? if you're buying canned chickpeas, if you rinse them under the sink for about a minute or so, you can wash away about 60% of the sodium. Mm, so okay. that's good to know. Here's one that didn't surprise me watermelon. That's right. It's called watermelon. <laughs> it's called for watermelon, reason, exactly. Right? So one cup is going to give you five ounces of fluid. So about over 90% mm. of what's here is fluid. I love to eat it as is, of course, but yeah. I also like to make watermelon salsa in the summer. Ah. So you take the watermelon chunks, put in some cucumber, red onion, a little bit of lime juice, and some diced jalapenos. It's really good with jalapeno or with um, fajitas mm -hmm. that are cooked on the grill. Wow, I had a watermelon and tomato salad this week. It's oh, yeah. Fantastic. I love nice. that combo. Yogurt as well has lots of water in it. Lots of water in here. Look in fact, this. in an eight ounce container, seven ounces of that is fluid. Now, we all love Greek yogurt yogurt because it's higher in protein, but it's lower in water because mm -hmm. it has more protein. So if you're looking for more fluid, go with the traditional yogurt. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's great with breakfast, but you can layer it as a parfait with some fruit, maybe put a little sliced uh, nuts on there. And so far, this has the most water in it, right? So, so far, far yeah. Even so more far. than watermelon. Who would have thought that? Who would have thought that? We don't, a lot of people don't think of, of eating soup in the summertime mm -hmm. because it's hot, you're trying to cool off, but you've got some gazpacho here. It's I really love gazpacho. I could probably eat that whole bowl right there. <laughs> okay. So get this, out of an eight ounce cup, you get almost eight ounces of fluid because all of what's in here is extremely watery food. So it's wow. a great appetizer in the summertime. Actually, it can even be an entree. Put a little avocado on top, you know, maybe a little dollop of yogurt, mm -hmm. give you some extra protein there. Wow, okay. So we've eat, we've had all these foods today. So how much have, water have we had? Just so in far? five foods, you've got three cups of water out of the 11 to 15 that you need for the entire day. So that's 20% of what a woman needs in a day just from five foods. Wow. All good advice. Surprising stuff as well. You can really eat this whole bowl. You just, just couldn't. <laughs> you really it? I could go to town on right, this right, right now. All right. We, we got to go. Could you <laughs> okay. go ahead and start with that? Cynthia Sass, thanks again. Thank you. Appreciate it. Now here's Rebecca. <laughs> yeah, Russ, we'll check back in with Cynthia Sass. Confirm <laughs> she's eaten the whole bowl by the end of the show. But coming up next, tasting the heat with Chef Lourdes Castro as she grew Grills up a great Latin barbecue. It's all happening right here on The Early Show on CBS.